Salesforce does an excellent job of tracking the current status of an account, an object, or whatever else, and being able to report on that. Uh, but really to learn and get better, you need to be able to track on what's happened. Uh, and to do that, we've talked about snapshot analytics, but you also need to be familiar with tracking changes. Um, this video is going to talk about how best to manage uh, feed tracking, which is really a chatter feature. And then we'll also, in the next video, talk through field history and what does that look in terms of reporting. Uh, so specifically, let's go out to a an account. And so we're going to go out to uh, an account and let's, uh, let's go out to Edge Communications. And what we're seeing here, if we look at Edge, uh, notice that we're not seeing a chatter here. So we're going to say we really want to enable that. Um, and so, uh, and, and what that's going to allow us to do, you'll see this, this ratings, which is part of, this is a dev org, um, and they've added this in already, but just, just a field that we like to be tracking. So what we're going to do is to go out to the settings, um, and we're going to take a look at, uh, entered feed. And what I'm go doing is going after feed tracking, but you can see there's a lot of, uh, kind of feed, uh, kind of related objects. If I change that instead and said, let's look at, at tracking, um, what you see is that there's really only one. Well, let me just kind of type it in here just so you see what that looks like. There's really only one feed tracking that shows up. So it shows you, um, you know, there's, there's not a lot of use of that term within setup. Um, so this is, this is where we come for feed tracking. It shows us that we can select up to 20 fields. Uh, and so we're looking at the account object here. Um, and uh, we're not seeing it. So we're, first thing we have to do is to enable feed tracking to allow that to occur. Uh, we get a couple of standard things that pop up. We also wanted to add rating. So I'm going to add that one. And I'm going to save that. And what you'll see is we're now tracking three fields. Uh, now, if I look down at opportunity and we click on that, you can see we're tracking five different opportunity fields. And this is important for managing what information is shared because this is done at the object level, which means that everyone is going to see this uh, kind of in your system. Um, another place to, to look is this, this help. Uh, what this does is to provide some additional documentation around how you can customize it also talks about exactly how information is going to show up. Um, so worth taking a look if you have questions. Uh, but now that we've enabled it, let's go back to our edge communications. Uh, I'm now going to, uh, to refresh. And when, what this is going to show is, is that we're going to now pick up um, a, a chatter template over here. Uh, didn't quite happen yet. So I refreshed again and chatter popped up, which is great. So at this point, what you'll see is, is that it's empty. And if I go out to details and I say, let me change this. Uh, and I go, we're going to make this, let's just say we're going to now make this a cold one, uh, which again, if we want to be tracking, it's nice to know that that's happened. Um, so I'm going to save that. And what we're going to see is that we're now going to get a chatter post which tells us that's happened. So anybody who's looking at this account is now going to have access to this as a chatter post. Uh, they can also follow this account and to know that when things change, uh, it'll automatically be brought up in their chatter feeds. Um, thanks for watching. And next one we're going to do is to go after field history. So how would you actually use this for reporting?